So I had also considered other electromagnetic brake solution. This one is is the funniest of them all. This is a, uh, a this is from uh, surpluscenter.com, and this costs three dollar fifty. And if you look at it, it says tested 1940 something, September 17, 1940 something. And I, I researched it. It's a motor with brake uh, from a tape recorder from the 1940s. You know, those big real tape recorders. And you can see actually at, at the back, you can see the disc for the brake. And uh, so I, I have it. This one works under 5 volts. So I have it up here. I'll turn it on. It takes. Oops. It takes a huge amount of current, 2 amps, but then it actually liberates it, so it, it's, it's pretty fun, it turns, it's fairly free, and then when you take it off, you hear the punk, and it's, it's actually a brake, but you can still turn it if you force it by hand, and of course, no, here I have difficulties, but when the gear is on, it's, it's possible to turn it a little bit. So I actually had that one mounted on uh, R2 and on the center leg lift and it, it did work, uh, but uh, not as positive as I wanted and certainly not as good as the $7.50 brake, uh, you know, the modern electromagnetic brake I installed, but uh, for $3.50 you can't really beat that one.